All right. Good morning, everyone. Come to a Shavasana. Just lie on your back and surrender here. Today, let's start yoga by stopping. Just a few breaths in stillness. You can get rid of any fidgets, any little movement. It's not necessary. Just release into gravity. Resting is a magic medicine that replenishes us in gentle stillness and sweet silence. So I'll give you four full rounds of silent breath. One more round, just lying on your back in your Shavasana. No need to move, just taking silence and stillness. And again, before you do move, whenever I offer movement, it's always optional. Every shape I suggest is an option. You can come back to Shavasana, you can come to child's pose. Please modify or vary as much as you need. Each day your body is different. If you want to use the playlist and have it ready. Otherwise, no distractions if you can. Doug King says, learn to pause or nothing worthwhile will catch up to you. So go ahead and start some music if you're using that for your practice. Everybody else, stay on your back and just draw your right knee into your chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze. Head, back and shoulders, stay relaxed, just pulling the shin towards your body. And then on your exhale, just release the right leg next to the left. Next, inhale, left leg draws in, hands over the shins, squeeze and compress. And exhale, let the left leg go along, take another moment in Shavasana. And then again, draw the right knee in, give it a squeeze, and this time just rock it a little side to side, right to left, feeling the hips begin to open. Head and neck and shoulders totally relaxed. And then pause and release that leg back down, Shavasana. Draw the left leg in, give it a squeeze and a little gentle rocking side to side. One more inhale. And then just release the left leg long, Shavasana. Draw your feet up over your head, soles of feet together, knees wide, hands to the ankles or feet, butterfly pose. Staying on the back, so head and shoulders are rested. Press the knees away from you, pull the heels overhead. See if you can bring your sacrum further towards the earth. Inhale here. And then exhale, just release the grip of the feet. Hands to the kneecap. So left hand to left knee, right hand to right knee, and start to circle the knees in opposite directions, making big circles, stirring the knees around, feeling the hip joints maybe go in the opposite direction. One more big circle. And then hands behind the thighs, start to rock and roll on your spine, just to come to a seated butterfly. So sit up tall, soles of the feet together, bring your hands behind the back first to lengthen the spine. Crown of the head reaches high, and then hands can come to shins. Pull your heart forward, press your knees down. The wider the, the shape, the wider the diamond, the less intense. So if you need to push your heels away from you just as we warm up, go ahead and do that. One more inhale here. And then exhale, hands to the outer knees, close the legs like a book. So the soles of your feet are planted. Hips are gonna stay grounded. We're gonna start some core. So lift your toes, your feet, your shins. And then we're gonna come into what I call speedy. Just kind of move your body around. Move your arms, your legs. Just your tailbone is connected to the ocean floor. You're kind of some algae floating freely. Let it feel good. And notice the further away you move your toes, your arms, your fingers, the harder your body has to work to bring you back to center. So that stability is working your core, feeling that engagement. You've got it. Last three. Have a little fun with it. Two. And one. Come all the way to your back. Knees over hips, 90 degrees. 
and press the thighs with, press the palms into the thighs. So flex the feet and then press the balls of the feet away from you. Head, neck and shoulders are resting. Just feel that. Left hand stays where it is. Reach the right arm overhead and right leg long. Inhale here. Exhale, right hand to right leg. Right knee bends, left hand and leg long. Inhale. Exhale, back to center, both knees bent, and keep going. Right side, reaching. Exhale, come back. Left side, reach. One more on each side, or just hold the center. Make sure you're tucking that tailbone so you feel your lower back pressing into the mat to support you and engage the core. All right, when you're done, find a happy baby release. Soles of the feet to the sky, just rock the sacrum from side to side. Let the head move side to side. And then again, knees to 90 degrees. Uh, and bring your knees nice and wide, like a frog. You'll inhale, lift your shoulder blades and reach your arms through. Press forward like you're giving someone a high five. So you kind of look like a frog. Shoulder blades are lifted. Space between chin and chest. Keep tucking that tailbone. Lower back presses into the earth and core engages. You got it. We're just holding for three, for two, for one. Let it go. Maybe a full body stretch or a nice hug. Should be a little bit warmer now, a little more awake. And then bring yourself into a tight little ball. Hands behind the thighs. Rock and roll. Take your time to come to a seat again. So cross-legged or butterfly, we're just gonna take a short breathing exercise. So from your seat, if you wanna sit on a little block or blanket or roll up your mat so you're sitting tall, close the eyes. The pranayama we're gonna practice is called four, seven, eight. So you'll inhale for four, you'll hold the breath for a count of seven and you'll exhale for a count of eight. So I'll count you through two rounds and then you'll have time to do one or two on your own. If breath retention brings up anxiety or it doesn't work for your body, just kind of pause and take a little seated meditation with any breath of choice. Or you could just do four, uh, four count, inhale, four count, exhale, whatever feels best for you. So I'll offer up this pranayama, which is really great to kind of calm the nervous system. So everybody just exhale, maybe close the eyes, sit up tall. And then inhale for one, two, three, four. Hold the breath, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, two more rounds on your own. When you're done with that, just return to the yoga ujjayi breath, in and out the nose, or a natural breath. And gently roll all the way to the back and rock and roll, coming into a forward fold, maybe with or without the hands to get there. No hurry. Forward fold at the top of the mat. Feet about hip width distance apart. A little bend to the knees, let the head relax, let it be heavy. Loosen up the jaw, the tongue. And on your next inhale, take a half lift, long spine, lengthen the heart forward. Exhale to release, forward fold. Two more, heart wave, half lifts. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more, hands to the shins or thighs, crown of head forward. And release. Plant the palms and step back to plank. 
spreading all 10 fingers. You could also come onto fists or forearms to support your body. Everybody lower the knees and find tabletop. Keeping your hands down, extend your right leg to the right. So again, modify if you need to be on fists. So right leg is wide, left knee is bent. From here, take some cat cow. So let the belly release, look up, inhale. Exhale, curl and round the spine, tuck the tailbone, chin towards chest. Keep going, cat cow with gate opener legs. You may notice you can't go as deeply into the posture as you can with two bent knees. Let us see how it feels. Moving with your breath for two more rounds. And then pause in a neutral spine, bringing your belly button towards the spine. Exhale, hips go back, arms stay long and straight. Inhale, draw yourself forward, maybe pouring a little more weight into the fingertips. And then keep going, two more with your breath. Exhale, hips towards heel. Inhale, forward. Next time you come up, just pause in your neutral tabletop. And this time we'll extend, keeping the right leg long, lift the right leg, ankle in line with hip, exhale, lower and tap. Two more, inhale, lift it to the right, exhale, lower. One more, inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Come on back, downward facing, or come on back, tabletop. And then left leg to the left. We'll take all of that on the second side and then we'll move into down dog. So left leg to the left and go through some cat cows. Maybe close the eyes, undulating the spine. Moving with your inhales and your exhales. If it's a lot of weight in the wrists, you could also come to spider fingers, tempting the hands, or use your fists for support. One more round. Then neutralize the spine and take those rocks back and forward. So exhale, hips go back, arms reach long, and inhale, draw yourself forward again. Twice more. No hurry. When you return to back to center, neutralize the spine and lift the left leg to the left. Lift it high. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift and lower. One more. Lift and lower. Tabletop. Now tuck the toes, hips high, heels back. Down dog. First down dog of the practice. So move it around. Maybe pedal the feet. Shake the head yes and no. See how your hamstrings, your hips, your calves feel. Take a few breaths here to just move a bit. And then start to find stillness in your down dog. Inhale, shift forward to plank, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, lower the knees, chest and chin, elbows stay close to the body, untuck the toes, inhale for cobra. Exhale, let your forehead come all the way to the mat. Release the hands behind you and interlace them. Punch the fists to the back of the mat. Keep the tops of the feet, the shins on the mat. And inhale, just the heart lifts forward and keep reaching crown of head forward, then up. One more inhale. And exhale, release. Plant the hands alongside the chest, tuck toes. Make your way to down dog, either through a tabletop, Child's pose or plank. Downward facing dog. From down dog, right leg lifts. Step the right foot between the hands. Runner's lunge. So hands stay down. You can tuck the fingertips. Inhale here. And then step the left foot all the way behind the right. Lining up the toes, the heels. Forward fold variation, start to walk your hands to the right, let your head release heavy. 
We're going to give you a little bend to the knees if that's intense. Maybe hands on block. One more inhale. And then exhale, just step the left foot next to the right. Feet are about hip width distance and parallel. Inhale, half lift, long spine. And release. Left foot stays at the top of the mat. Step your right foot all the way back. For a lunge position, left knee over ankle, hands stay down. Inhale here in your runner's lunge. And now step your right foot behind your left, lining up the outer edges of the feet. Forward fold, walk your hands forward and to the left. Inhale here. And exhale. And then right foot steps next to left, parallel feet. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold forward. Step your right foot all the way to the back of the mat and then turn the toes to the right. So you're in a wide legged stance. Bend your right knee deeply to the right. Reach your arms wide like wings. You're in a side lunge with your right knee bent. So a little more weight is leaning towards the back of your mat. Keep reaching your fingertips. And then exhale, start to shift the weight to the left knee, bending left into the left lunge. Inhale here. Exhale back, bending to the right. Keep going to the left and right, if that feels good. Or if you want to stay on one side and just take a couple little pulses and then switch sides and take a couple of pulses. Make sure you got both sides, whatever you're doing. And then come back to center, two straight legs. Reach your hands down to the earth. Left hand stays planted. Reach the right hand to the sky for a twist. Maybe make a fist out of your right hand and roll the wrist around. Head is heavy. Neck and brow are relaxed. Exhale, release the right hand down. Left hand to the sky, twisting to the left. Make a fist with your left hand and roll that left wrist around. Keep putting a little more weight into your toes, letting the heels be light. Feeling the hips come over the heels, the ankles. And then release left hand down. Inhale for a half lift, lengthen the spine here. Walk your hands all the way to the front of the mat. Step back, plank pose. And then take your first chaturanga, your first vinyasa. If you want to lower the knees, chest chin again, or first chaturanga, exhale, lower to 90 degrees. Inhale for up dog, thighs, chin stay off the mat. Make your way back, downward facing dog. So as always, that flow is totally optional. You can come to a child's pose, support your body. From down dog, right leg lifts. Right knee towards right elbow. And then keep the shin lifted and draw your right knee to the left elbow. Bring it back to the right. Twice more, little windshield wipers with the knee to the left and right. You got it, core is working left and right. And then find three-legged down dog, right heel high. Step the right foot all the way forward and come into your warrior one, left heel down, arms up. So maybe you heel toe your right foot wider to have a more space in your hips, right knee over ankle. Press your outside edge of left foot, relax the shoulders, reach through fingers. Keep drawing left shoulder forward, right shoulder back, left hip forward, right hip back. Wearing off your stance. One more, inhale in warrior one. Exhale, open up warrior two, right arm forward, left arm back. Maybe move your legs around, widen your stance. Stay deep in the lunge, right knee over ankle. Relax the shoulders. Let me check out your hands. Are they where you think they are in space? Two more slow breaths here. Keep reaching crown of head higher as you stay low in the lunge. Come into reverse triangle, so straighten your right leg. Reach right hand up, left hand down the left leg. Feeling a stretch through the whole right side body. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands all the way to the mat. Step back to plank and just pause here. 
Everybody lower the knees down to tabletop. So you could keep the knees like this and the toes on the mat. You could lift the shins and the toes. We're gonna practice some little push-ups. Again, you could move to your fists. So chat around the push-ups with knees support. Elbows stay close to the body. Exhale as you lower. Inhale, press back up. Take as many as you want. Maybe three more. Exhale to lower and bend the elbows. Inhale, press back up. Okay, last one if you're still working. And then make your way to downward facing dog. Take a full round of breath. Exhale, let it go. Next, inhale, left leg lifts. Left knee draws towards left tricep, left elbow. And then across the body towards the right. Keep going, left and right. Two more, little windshield wipers with the knee. We meet in a three-legged dog. So when you're ready, left heel high again, left leg long. And find your warrior one, stepping left foot to the top of the mat. Right heel comes down about 45 degrees. Inhale, arms up. Relax the shoulders, but reach your fingertips. Maybe heel toe left foot wider to the left as you draw your right hip, right shoulder forward, left hip, left shoulder back. Shoulders are directly over hips, draw the rib cage in. One more smooth, slow breath. On your exhale, open up to warrior two. Expand, open, take up space. Take time to check out your feet, threading through your toes, up through your ankles, shoulders over hips again. One more inhale. Exhale, reverse triangle. Left leg straightens, feel the release. Right hand down, right leg, left hand reaching up. Beautiful, exhale, cartwheel the hands to the mat. Step back, pause in plank. Option to lower the knees again. Option to try some push-ups with the knees lifted in plank. So exhale, lower to the chaturanga push-up, 90 degrees, inhale, press back up. If you wanna keep going, maybe take two or three more. You can always lower the knees. You can always take a child's pose. Wherever you are, take one more, if you're still working, and either go through your vinyasa or meet straight back and down dog. It's hard work. You can hear my voice trembling, building strength. Take a full round of breath in down dog, and maybe exhale it out audibly. Let that go. Bend the knees, lift to your hands, walk, or very gently hop to a footward fold. Take a little half lift, long spine. Exhale, release. And now lift your heels, coming onto your toes. Hands can be on blocks or spider fingers. Just a forward fold with the heels lifted. Let your head be heavy. You could bend the knees a little if that feels good. Exhale, lower the heels. Inhale, half lift and release. We're gonna do that again. This time, heel to your feet just a little bit wider, wider stance towards the edge of the mat. Inhale, lift the heels, forward fold on your toes, feeling the weight shift forward, fingertips to the earth. One more inhale. And then exhale, bring your toes out even wider, heels in, sit down in a malasana squat. So bring the palms together, elbows to the inner thighs, lift the heart and the crown of the head. Heels can be lowered or lifted here. Close the eyes for two breaths. And then very gently have a seat. Lift your legs up for boat pose again. Knees lifted. Knees nice and wide, again like a frog, and extend your arms forward and through. Keep pressing through your fingers. 
fingers facing the ceiling, pressing your palms, the heels of your hands. Nice core work, lengthen the spine, lengthen the crown of the head, engaging in all the body, the core, the legs, the arms. Two more breaths. This might look like a pose that we're gonna try later. So we'll be trying the uh, arm balance crow pose, totally optional. One more inhale. And exhale, release, plant the feet. Heel toe your feet to center, left leg goes long, right hand to right heel, half happy baby. So draw your right knee back. Left hand can be behind the hip for support, left heel down. Maybe move it around a little, stir that leg if that feels good. Move it side to side. And then cross the right leg over left. Plant the sole of the foot outside of the left thigh. Lift the heart, hands to the right leg, and then start to twist to your right. Seated spinal twist. Right hand behind the back. Left hand can hug your uh, right leg or hook around. Bringing out the spine. One more breath. And then exhale, just come back to center and we switch sides. So right leg goes long in front of you. Left foot, left knee bends, grab your foot for half happy baby. Just move it around or hold it in place, long spine. And then left foot steps outside of right thigh. Sit up tall and twist to your left. Keep flexing the right toes, pressing the ball of the feet so that right leg stays engaged. One more inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale to twist a little deeper. And then release. Roll all the way to the back for a full happy baby. And then whenever you're ready, we're going to meet in down dog. So you could rock and roll and go through a vinyasa. Or you could just roll to one side and press yourself back to downward facing dog. Take your time to get there. Inhale fully. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, look to the top of the mat, bend the knees. On your exhale, walk or hop, forward fold. Bring your toes together, heels apart, sink down, chair pose, arms up, hips low, knees together. And then keeping your left knee bent, just tap your right knee to the right, or your right leg to the right, right toe to the right, so right leg is long. And then tap it back to center. Left leg to the left, toe tap. Center, one more each side, you got it. Tap the right leg to the right, and center. Left toe to the left, and center. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Let it go. Heel till your feet as wide as your mat. And then sink down like chair pose, hips low, arms up. It's a squat. I'm gonna turn so you can see better what we're gonna do here. You'll squat down like a chair, but feet are wide. Inhale, stand up. Bring your hands to heart center and press them towards each other. We're gonna take left leg behind right and bend both knees, curtsy lunge. You'll inhale, come up, left leg hovers like a floating tree. So left leg towards the right leg, bent knee to the side. Then you'll step left foot down and come into your wide squat again. You can reach the arms up if that feels good. Inhale, stand up straight. Right leg goes behind left, curtsy lunge, both knees bend. Inhale, straighten the legs, left leg is the base, right leg is balancing, floating tree if you can, stand tall. And then right foot steps down, sink into the lunge. Let's take it one more time on each side, now that you have the hang of this interesting pattern. So left foot behind right, curtsy lunge, two knees bend, get low, next. Stand up and balance, left leg hovers, tree, floating tree. Step to the left, get low, near lunge, 
You're going to squat, inhale, stand up. Nice work. Right leg behind left, curtsy lunge. Stand up and find your floating tree. Two feet down, squat and stand. Let it go. Shake out the legs, shake out the arms. Come to the top of your mat if you moved around somewhere else. Inhale, arms up, mountain pose. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. Head is heavy. Nice work. Bend the knees deeply. From your forward fold, slowly, slowly roll all the way up to standing, stacking one vertebra at a time. Your head is the last to come all the way up. Palms face forward, mountain pose. And then squeeze the shoulders to the ears. Exhale, release. Two more. Just squeeze the shoulders up and let it go. One more big sigh. Inhale as you squeeze and sigh it out. Okay, we're gonna do a curtsy again. I'm gonna just turn so you can see. So left leg behind right. Get down into your curtsy lunge and here. We're just gonna pulse. You got it for three, for two, and one. And when you're ready, balancing on the right leg again, this time figure four or eagle legs. So you could wrap one leg over the other or ankle over thigh. Hands could be at heart center. You could reach your arms long, any variation. We're gonna hold and stay for four breaths. Working on balance, beautiful work. You could always grab something in your space to support you. Try to stare at something that's not moving. If you're in a tree, squeeze the legs together. One more round of breath. And then exhale, everybody release out and shake out the limbs again. And we're going to take that on the other side. So step your right behind left, bend both knees, curtsy lunge, get low. And then take little pulses lower. Nice. For three. For two. For one, left foot is the base. Come on up to your figure four or your eagle wrap of the legs. Any variation of the arms. If you are taking eagle, eagle, maybe you give yourself a hug or wrap the arms, taking a full eagle. You have four breaths here to hold the balance. So smooth out the inhales, slow down the exhales. One more inhale. Exhale, everybody release, shake that out. Shake the wrists, shake the feet and ankles. And then inhale, arms up, reach. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back to plank and pause. Again, you could be on forearms or fists. Cross your left ankle over your right. And then roll your heels to the left. Hands stay planted. Just breathe here. Feel the obliques, the side body stretch. Inhale. Exhale, heels back to center. Left foot plants back down. Feet are about hip width distance. Cross the right ankle over the left. And then roll both heels to the right. Hands stay down. One inhale. Exhale, come on back to center, stepping right foot next to left, and hips high, downward facing dog. Good full full round of breath here. And let it go. One more, just like that. Walk your hands and feet towards each other, so you're coming towards the middle of the mat. So a little forward fold at the middle of the mat. Bring your toes together, Bend your knees, sit down like a little squat, hips towards heels, and then bring your knees nice and wide. Reach your arms forward. So it's a little bit like a squat, a little bit like a child's pose. Reach your arms forward, relax your head, relax your neck. Maybe even close the eyes.
All right, inhale, start to walk your hands back towards your feet. And here's where I'm offering crow pose. So you could stay in a squat, you could come to a child's pose. We're all gonna end up in child's pose and we're gonna take time for some wrist stretches after for sure. So if you wanna play with crow, spread your fingers wide like that high 10 we've been doing, plant them on the earth. You'll lift your heels and you'll start to lean forward. And if that feels scary, you can always put a little pillow as a crash pad. You don't have very far to go if you do land on your forehead. And kind of like a seesaw, teeter-totter yourself, look forward and lean further forward than you think. Maybe just your toes are stay on the mat, maybe one toe lifts or the other. You'll have your um, upper shins, your knees on your triceps and biceps, and you'll start to play with balance. So squeeze the legs towards each other, squeeze the toes towards each other, the thighs, core is working. You're doing those little chaturanga arms like we practice in the push-ups. And if you have it, you can play with seeing how straight you can get your arms. See if you can start to straighten your arms. You can play with jumping your feet to the back of the mat. Let's take one more breath, whatever you're doing. And then let's all release and come to your shins. You could have your feet flexed or unflexed. If they're flexed, it's gonna be a little more active for the legs, the toes. Shake out your arms or your wrists. Beautiful work. That's something fun you can practice on your own time. If you have questions, let me know. You could always play with um, a block and I can let you know how to use that for help. All right, extend your arms away from you. Fingertips facing up. And then fold your thumb towards your palm and one finger at a time, wrap over the thumb. Index, middle, ring, and pinky to make a fist. Float the fist towards the earth. Okay, exhale, let that go. Similar variation, palms face forward, thumbs face up, relax the shoulder blades down the back. Fold the thumb in and again, wrap one finger at a time over slowly. And then fists move away from you to the left and right, like you're pouring something out. Really good after any yoga practice, before any yoga practice, because we do bear a lot of weight. Shake it out. Bear a lot of weight on our hands, our wrists. Interlace your fingers and just kind of move the wrists around. If your feet are still tucked, maybe let them go. And really great for all the texting and computer time we have. Okay, switch the grip. Just move it around again. Okay, let that go. Everybody find child's pose. So toes together, knees wide, hips back, arms forward. Forehead to the mat. And I offer a variation. So bend the elbows, lift the palms overhead, press the palms together, and start to draw your thumbs towards your shoulder blades, towards the, your neck. So if you, if you don't want to take that, just take a traditional child's pose. This is just a little tricep variation. And we're going to do the same pose a little bit later, or the same arm posture later. All right, release the arms in front of you. If you took that variation and crawl the fingers to the left. Spider crawl them all the way to the left and reach them as far forward and to the left as you can. Two big breaths to the right side body from your right hip crease up through your right fingertip. When you're ready, start to crawl your hands back through center over to the right, all the way off the mat, reach them forward. Take a couple big breaths to the, into the left side body through the rib cage, fill the lungs. And start to crawl your hands back to center. Start to rise up to a tabletop. Tuck the toes. Downward facing dog. We have one last standing sequence and then we'll start to warm down. So always an option. You could just stay in child's pose. You don't have to take this at all. So in, uh, look towards your hands and on your exhale, pop 
to the top of the mat. See how quietly you can land, gentle landing. Good transitions if you want to walk or tiptoe as well. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release. Keep your feet hip width distance apart and take chair pose. So hips down, arms up. Reach through the fingers. Press into the left foot, rise the right knee. One legged mountain. And then find tree pose. So we took the floating tree, but here we're going to stay for a few rounds of breath. Your right foot could be a little kickstand with your toes on the earth, anywhere but directly on your knee. So place your right foot on your left leg. Wherever it is, shin or thigh, press the left leg into the right foot and press the right foot back. Back shoulders over hips, any arm variation, hands at heart center or reverse prayer, big branches. Keep pressing your knee back. Keep drawing your left hip in. Maybe close the eyes if you want to challenge your balance further. Two more breaths. And then we're going to transition through floating tree. So just remove your right leg, but keep it lifted. Step back, warrior one. Right foot to the, all the way to the back of the mat. Left knee bends. Arms up. You've been here before. Find your warrior one. And then bring your left hand to left hip and reach your right arm over right here. Rise the torso back up, interlace your hands behind your back, press down, open the chest, open the heart. Feel the weight evenly distributing, just distributed between left and right foot. And then start to fold into humble warrior. So crown of head reaches for the earth, torso can rest on the left thigh or inside the thigh. But again, make sure the right foot is taking weight, you're not dumping it all forward. Take another big breath here, maybe an audible exhale or a lion's breath sticking out the tongue. Then we rise all the way up and find a warrior two. Open up the arms. Maybe widen your stance. Big inhale. Last standing pose on this side, triangle or half moon. So you could straighten your left leg or you could keep it bent to move into half moon hand to hip, right hand to right hip first, and then float. You could always use a wall if you have one nearby or to practice leaning your chest against the wall for support. You could have a block under your left hand or a water bottle. Keep reaching your right heel back. If you're ready, reach your right hand to the sky. Maybe float your left hand to hover. In half moon or triangle, lean your torso back, stack your shoulders. One more inhale. And exhale, just find a forward fold, let it go. Bend the knees, shake the head. Half lift, long spine. Step back. Go through a vinyasa or just find downward facing dog. From down dog, bend the knees, walk, or very gently hop forward. Forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen this heart forward. Exhale to release. Keep your feet hip with distance, find chair pose, hips low, arms up. This time right foot stays planted, draw your left knee up, left thigh up to one legged mountain, and then come into tree pose. So left hand can Grab your left foot to place it on your right leg. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as the other side. We're not symmetrical, so you could have a kickstand or you could draw it all the way up toward your thigh. Find something that's not moving to focus on. Choose your arm variation. We stay for four more breaths. Keep pressing right leg into left foot and left foot into right leg. Let's 
Start to float the left leg off the right and step it back, warrior one. Arms up, set up your warrior one, right knee over ankle and then right hand to right hip, left arm reaches up and over to the right. Inhale, stack shoulders over hips again, and interlace hands behind back. Maybe switch to the less familiar grip. Punch down with your fist to open the heart, reach the chest up, and then exhale, humble warrior, fold forward. Torsos inside or on the thigh. Where can you release a little tension, relax the face, one more breath. Rise all the way up to warrior two. Expand open. Right knee over ankle. Inhale to lengthen through fingertips. And exhale, last pose here, triangle or half moon. Last pose of this little sequence. Again, it doesn't have to be the same as the other side. One more breath. Then exhale, everybody find a forward fold at the top of the mat. Knees bent a lot or a little. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Just make your way back downward facing dog. Step back, hips high. From down dog, right leg lifts. Step forward into low lunge. So right foot to the top of the mat. Left knee comes down. Make sure it's supported. You could double up your mat or have a blanket under the left knee. Inhale, rise up. Feeling the left hip flexor stretch. And then press the palms together overhead. Bend the elbows. Tricep stretch, bringing your uh, thumbs again towards the back. Inhale, lift the arms back up, and then bring them straight in front of you like a zombie. Palms up, make fists with your hands, and pull your elbows back. Start to straighten your right leg, right toes to the sky, right heel pressing, like a half splits. All right, two more times we're going to take that. So bend your right knee in, out, arms up, palms press, bend the elbows. Exhale, hands come in front, make fists, draw them back and straighten your right leg. Inhale, rise up. Last time. Exhale, hands in front, pull the elbows back, straighten the right leg. Either bring your hands to your hips here or hands to blocks or hands to the earth, stay in the half splits. Hamstring stretch, inhale. Rotate the whole right leg to the right. So right pinky toe faces the right. From your femur bone down to the ankle, you're kind of externally rotating, getting a different hamstring stretch here. Keep lengthening the spine, try not to round. Could be um, on fingertips or hands to hips again. And then exhale, leg through center to the left. So big left toe points left, whole right, Leg is turning left. All right. Bend the knee. Come into tabletop. Take your cat cow. Just close the eyes. As you're ready, find downward facing dog. Tuck toes, hips high, heels back. On your next inhale, left leg lifts. Step it all the way through for a low lunge. So right knee comes down, make sure it feels supported. And inhale to rise up. Press the palms together, bend the elbows. 
tricep stretch, maybe even lean the head back, squeezing elbows in towards head. Inhale, arms straight in front of you, shoulders and wrists in line, make fists, float the wrists to the ceiling, and then straighten left leg as you draw your elbows back, fists back towards your body. Inhale, rebend left knee, reach arms to the sky, bend the elbows, reach the arms up, float them in front of you, fists and pull the elbows, the forearms back by your waist. One more time, move with your breath. And then hands come to hips and stay in the half splits for a hamstring stretch. Flexing the feet, but pressing out the ball of the foot. Then rotate the left leg to the left. Giving a different stretch in the hamstrings. Breathe here. Come back through center. Rotate the whole left leg to the right. The toes are pointing towards the right side of the mat. Again, hands could be on hips, on blocks, on the floor. One more breath. And then two knees down, tabletop, organic cat cow, side to side. Close your eyes. Move a little freely here. If you'd like to add another wrist stretch, come to tabletop and turn your fingers. One at a time, just one hand towards the knees and slowly lower the palm down. Just breathe and then switch sides. Take your time. Another wrist option, you can flip the palms up to face you. Fingers again, face the knees and slowly lower the back of the hands down. But just do one hand at a time so that the other hand can kind of hold some of the weight and you can choose how intensely to go into it. Couple more rounds of breath here, moving around or stretching the wrists. And when you are ready, tuck your toes and take your last down dog of the practice. Notice how it feels, inhale. And exhale, bend the knees, hop forward or step, come onto your seats, hands behind the back, Cross right ankle over left. Inhale, lift the chest. Roll the right ankle around a little bit. Figure four again. Let's take a breath here. And then roll to the back and take it on the back. Pigeon on the back, interlace the hands. And just notice the difference in the stretch. Now you can roll your left ankle around. Let the head and the neck be heavy, supported by your mat. Then release the left leg, grab your right hand to your right foot, hop happy baby. Right knee is outside the right chest, right sole of the foot to the sky. And then bring your whole right leg across the body to the left for a spinal twist. Turn your right ear towards the right, right arm can be long, close the eyes. One big inhale, let it go. Come all the way back to center. You give yourself a little hug, a little squeeze. Hands behind thighs, rock and roll. Just come to a seat again, feet out in front of you. This time, ball up your hands in a fist and give yourself a little massage. Just kind of banging out your calves, your glutes, inner and outer thighs. Done so much work this morning to give your muscles a little love. Nice work getting each leg up and down the leg, kind of your hips. And then finish that up, and we'll take the other side and slide into Shavasana. So bring your hands behind your hips. Cross left ankle over right for figure four. 
Again, the closer your hips are towards your heel, the more intense, the deeper the stretch. Press your left knee away from you. Maybe roll your left ankle around. And when you're ready, take it onto your back. So just roll back and we'll be on our back the rest of the practice. Interlace hands behind the thigh or over the shin. Figure four on the back, pigeon on the back. Release the right leg long, half happy baby. Draw your left foot to the sky. Grab onto your left ankle or the sole of the foot. Pull the left knee down. Right hand can coax the right hip towards the earth. And then cross left leg towards the right side of the body. Turn your left ear to the left, close the eyes. If this is too intense, you could bend your right knee and put, put two knees bent in your spinal twist. all the way back to center. Give yourself a nice loving hug and find your Shavasana. You need a full happy baby. Go ahead and do that now, feet to the sky. Otherwise, just take up as much space as you need. Legs long, palms can face up to receive all the benefits of the work you've done or one hand to belly, one hand to heart. Just close the eyes. Find stillness, find silence for a few minutes of rest to integrate all the benefits of the practice. I'll guide you out when it's time.
very tenderly reawaken the body. If you have the gift of time, stay in Shavasana. Linger as long as you wish. If you need to continue with your morning, wiggle toes, wiggle fingers, and draw knees to the chest one at a time, just like we began practice. Give yourself a hug. Use the next few breaths to roll and pause in the fetal position. Just pause, surrender, stay here. Take a breath and think about how you can carry this energy throughout your day and the rest of your week. Eventually find a comfortable seat and we'll close practice together. Nikita Gill says, let it hurt, let it heal and let it go. If it resonates with you, you can bring your hands to heart center. Sit up tall. Exhale everything out. Inhale to fill it up. And let that go. Beautiful practice, everybody. Thanks for joining me.